Chamber member Earl Black of Town and Country Realtors asks this question. The forest products industry has been a key to the Bangor region economy for centuries. What is your plan to preserve what remains of that industry? And once preserved, what must we do to make that sector grow? We'll start with Mr. Auden. I think the forest products industry is one of our most exciting opportunities going forward. We have more better slow-growing fiber than anybody in the world. We have more trees in our forest than we have in a century. And we have the opportunity, if we would change our rules and regulations, to reinvite the paper industry back into the state of Maine. There are 60 large paper machines being built worldwide. None are being built, built in Maine, mostly because of our rules and regulations and our past history in making paper feel, companies feel uncomfortable. At Domtar, they're passing by the mill with the pulp and sending it to China and then bringing it back into the United States. And that just doesn't make common sense. We can make Brillo pads out of our wood fiber. We can make cellulosic ethanol. We can make wood pellets. We can heat our homes. I chaired a study for the governor that 10 percent of the state of Maine could heat their homes with modern wood products and we would create 9,600 jobs. Those opportunities are in front of us. Our forests are our future. Mr. Abbott. Our forest products industry is going to be key to the future economic development of Maine. It's especially key for the second district. I strongly support it. I, I tell people all the time in Augusta, I feel like they've quit on paper, and I think if you quit on paper, you're quitting on Maine. We're going to need a strong forest products industry. We're going to have to innovate and continue to innovate in our forest products industry to develop new products and to find new markets as well. I also think that it is critically important that we understand the role that commercial forestry plays in our tourism industry as well. Maine's econo economic outdoor future is dependent upon private ownership of the big woods. We've got to preserve private ownership in commercial forestry if our forest products industry and our outdoor recreation industries are going to be successful. Uh, Pleasant River Lumber and Dover Foxcroft um, every job they add, it's a multiplier effect and employment of four jobs, upstream and downstream in the poorest county east of the Mississippi. Pleasant River has a $200 penalty on every load of lumber it sends out of its mill compared to St. Leonard in New Brunswick. We have, we have this cascading regulatory problem where somebody has set aside 40 acres of prime forest land of, of mature pine uh, and uh, to retire on, to, to, to pass on to their family. And it's designated as vernal pools with f seven acres around each pool. And it's being proposed as 50 acres. We are undercapitalized in the forest industry. We are not, we are not, you have to invest for a long time there. We're not treating our forest industry right, and yet we have evidence that we can commercially sell quality pulp around the world. Then why can't we attract a $500 million paper machine? Uh, that's the question we need to ask and answer. Mr. Jacobson. You know, I ran the St. Lawrence and Atlantic Railroad headquartered in Auburn, and we used to joke that we were a paper railroad. And I spent an awful lot of time talking to paper mills to understand what products I could give them so they'd ship more on my railroad. If we listen to the paper mills, if we listen to the people that run those mills, the president of New Page last summer put out about a 10-page booklet on what he needed the state of Maine to do to help him expand his mill in Maine. It was about LNG. It was about workforce. It was about regulatory environment. It was about energy costs. Our governor took the thing at a press conference and ignored it. We didn't do anything that he recommended us that we do. If we don't listen to the people that are running the mills, if we don't listen to the people that are running the small businesses, we will never solve the problems. We don't, this is not magic. He told us what he needed. Let's just execute. Mr. LePage. I spent 25 years of my career in the forest products industry. I came out of the pulp and paper industry. I remember one year out of 29 plants worldwide, Nine of the plant managers graduated from the University of Maine in Arno. They had a great pulp and paper school. They had a great engineering school. That's pretty much gone away because the paper industry was chased away due to our regulations. We had to compete for capital at corporate offices, and we lost out every year because of the regulations in Maine were unbearable. First thing you do, your reform LERC. LERC needs a major attitude adjustment. Number one, DEP needs a major attitude adjustment. We need to stop being an adversarial to business and become a partner to business. Secondly, Lance for Maine's future should go back to the private sector. Mr. Mills. 
Well, the paper, uh, the woods of Maine are now producing more lumber and timber and pulp than ever. Uh, and Maine is a more forested state than it was uh, 100 years ago. And uh, there's a lot going on out there. But I think the future lies in taking our existing paper mills and using some of the research that's coming out of the University of Maine and other sources to turn them into different enterprises. Uh, for instance, we right now take black liquor, which is about half what you get out of wood, you get fiber and black liquor, and we're just burning it. Uh, why not take black liquor and turn it into diesel fuel, plastic, set up small refineries associated with the paper and the paper plants so that we extract all of the value uh, that we can get out of our woods. Uh, the cogeneration generation uh, projects to make sure that our paper mills are not relying on standard oil uh, for their energy. And thirdly, the most interesting idea I've heard lately is that these paper mills with gates around them and constant energy would be ideal places for server farms for Google. Thank you. <laughs>